Hello guys and welcome back to Mind Pattern. How are you all doing? I hope you guys are having a great day because in today's video, we're going to be talking about Hytale and its mobs. How are they different? But before we begin with today's topic, make sure you all like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming uploads. Without any more interruptions, let's just go ahead and dive straight into it. Hytale's mobs are real-life creatures that dwell in Hytale's environment. Non-player characters, or NPCs, animals, and monsters are among them. Mobs can be passive or neutral, which they usually ignore humans, friendly, they actively help players, or hostile, they attack players, actively attacking players. Keep in mind that each of the mobs in our video is featured in the announcement trailer, concept art, or other Hypixel Studio promotional material. Depending on the situation, certain mobs may be given new names, behave differently, or or maybe not be deployed at all when Hytale is officially released. Cacti The Cacti is one of the mobs that may appear in the final version of Hytale, but its appearance is unknown. The Cacti is a cactus-like humanoid creature located in Zone 2 of the world map, Howling Sands. Cactis are very evil creatures despite their outer appearance. Cactis would disguise themselves as real cacti whenever the player looked in their direction in order to deceive the player. After it's distracted its attention away from the current circumstance, it will appear and proceed to move closer to the creature. It will begin to assault the player once it's closed the space between itself and the player. It's unknown why this is done, however, it is probable that it's done solely for shock value or to keep the player on their toes, and that is not done to linger in any way. It's currently unknown whether cactis will attack anything other than the player. Camels Camels, with an unknown name, are animal mobs that may appear in game once Hytale is purchased. It can be found in small groups in Zone 2's deserts where it thrives. Camel facts are scarce, yet it's feasible that they can be found in tiny groups around an oasis or simply metering across deserts, as some have indicated. The color of an adult's hump distinguishes them from a child, with red denoting an adult and green denoting a child. Adults and even children have a little horn protruding from their snout, which can be seen in the photos. Although the reason for this object's placement is uncertain, it is plausible that it's a form of defense on their behalf. Cats Cats are a type of animal mob that may emerge in-game when Hytale is made available for purchase. In most cases, cats are non-aggressive mobs that can be tamed by a skilled player. It's still uncertain whether or not there will be additional cat breeds in Hytale, or if the black tabby cat breed seen in advertising photographs will be the only cat breed available. Cats may be seen grooming themselves in both the announcement video and recent stills from the game. Catfish In Hytale, there is a fish mob known as a catfish. Catfish spawn in the waters off the coast of Orbis. There isn't much information available about this gang other than the fact that they were briefly shown in the announcement video. Cattle Cattle, sometimes known as cows, are an animal mob that may emerge in game with the introduction of Hytale. Cows spawn in the Emerald Grove, Zone 1, and it's likely that they may be domesticated for milking and other reasons. According to an interview with Moo, a Hytale content moderator, this creature's name has been officially verified. It's been demonstrated that cows are capable of defecating too. Antelopes a mob called the Antelopes is one of the mobs that may come in the aftermath of Hytale's release. Antelopes are most likely passive mobs that reside along the coast of Zone 2 and are not aggressive. One of the Hytale blog postings has a video of them showcasing their talents. Antelopes have been observed to dwell in groups with other antelopes. Antelopes are also pursued by more hazardous predators in their environment, such as the saber-toothed tiger, which may be found in their territory. But that's all the time we have for you guys today though, so thank you all for watching. If you guys have any questions, make sure to ask them in the comments down below and I'd love to help you out. Also, if you guys enjoyed the video, then be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't already for more awesome content like this and much more. We'll see you guys next time, but until then, take care and goodbye.